Okay, click Macintosh HD, click Applications, scroll down, click Utilities, and then click on Boot Camp. Click Continue. Use a little slider, slide the partition to 31 gigabytes. Click Partition. And this will take a little while, but I'll fast forward to the next step. Okay, after you're done, you want to make sure that you insert the uh, install disk that we've created for Windows XP, and then click install or whatever it is, and it will reboot. And then it starts loading all the drivers and um, files needed to install Windows on the uh, partition side of the hard drive. Okay, now you want to select the bottom one that says C. Uh, it's labeled Boot Camp, Camp FAT32. Select that one. And then I selected uh, Format uh, Partition with FAT File System. Quick. Select that and then press F and then press Enter. And then uh, what it does is it partitions the hard drive, or formats a hard drive, and then it checks the in install disk, and then it copies files, which takes quite some time, but I'll fast forward through this too. Okay, now it's going to restart in Windows. Windows installer, actually. Press any key to boot from CD. Don't do that. Just wait. Okay, now it's going to start installing Windows. This takes probably about a half hour or so. This just is telling you to set your region and your time zone, I believe, or your language. Just it's set to English as default. Just hit next, and then this tells you to type in your name and organization. Just Type in your name and whatever in your organization, and then type in uh, password, administration password. You can leave the other field at the top blank. This is asking you to set the time. Uh, you can set it later, so I just skip it. Just hit OK, and then it installs few more things and then it asks you to if the computer is connected to a domain uh, just click in the field and put one letter it doesn't matter what and hit OK it's pointless at this time then it will install quite a few more things reboot again For sake of this uh, tutorial, I skip through most of it.
Okay, here it's asking you to automatically set the screen resolution. Just click OK and then OK again to keep the settings. Now you get the screen that's kind of like what you get when you first boot up Windows machine. You just hit next, type in your name for a username. You just keep hitting next until you get to this screen. Okay, this is where we eat. We're going to go into uh, My Computer, click on up in the left corner, eject this disk from drive, I believe it says. After you click on the drive, down there on the icon, it'll eject the disk. Put your boot camp driver disk in that we created earlier. After that loads, double click it, or autoplay will open it. Double click that boot camp file, and then click on the uh, setup file and then click um, install I believe it is agree to the terms and now you gotta wait for all the uh, drivers for audio for the video card for the processor all that getting put on there so that uh, Windows can recognize uh, the Macintosh machine so that it has all the drivers uh, click finish you just hit OK to reboot when it's finished it reboots Windows Okay, after it reboots, uh, boot camp utility will open. You don't really need to do anything with that at this time. And you should hear Windows boot up and you should have sound and uh, you can use your wireless network now. All your USB drives should all be discoverable now. Now to get back into uh, Mac, you go to start, go to shut down, hit restart, and then hold down your option key while it's Until rebooting. you see your mouse, then you can release option. And then you'll get two drives, Macintosh HD and Window. Click on Macintosh. Wait for it to boot in the Mac. Go up to the Apple icon in the left. Click System Preferences. Go down to Start startup disk I believe it is select that what this does is it's telling the uh, computer which operating system to boot up into every time you reboot you can select Windows or Macintosh I select Macintosh because that's what I use most of the time so every we'll time start it boots in OS X to get back into Windows just repeat the process of holding down the option key as you reboot and select Windows